All right, we got a pretty dope user submission today. One I've actually been waiting for for a while. I never asked for it, but I finally got it. Um, so as you may know, on my machine, I have this little thing in my status bar that's basically like the weather module. It gives you precipitation chance, daily low, daily high. If you click on it, it brings up the little weather forecast you can get by running CURL on the site WTTR.in. In case you don't know about that, right? You, at any time, you can actually get um, weather in your command line just by CURLing the site and it will you know, give you some kind of weather forecast. Um, so that's nice to have, but here's one thing I've always wanted. I've wanted to have the ability to see a Doppler radar, like one of those radars where it shows where the, the rain is actually gonna be. That's like a real life thing that I, I actually want. And see, the issue is you can go on the internet here. Look at all these like normie sites, okay? Look at how terrible they are. I just wanna get my like, my weather or something like that and there's all this junk like i mean the, the sites are like still loading and stuff like that just all garbage but luckily i got an email and here's how it goes uh, this is from this guy named ray he says since i learned about uh, wttrn from you um i'll return the favor and share a trick for monitoring a weather radar the national weather service maintains an apache web server that hosts radar images for, for every site in the country. You can find it right here. Let's go look at this site. Here's the cool thing about this site. As he mentioned, um, it actually gives, well, well, we'll go ahead and look at it. It gives individual pictures from like several minutes ago or you know, you know know an hour or so ago from different places. Uh, and it also pr provides a GIF file. Uh, let's say we uh, go to this GIF file right here. Um, it'll give you a GIF file for a different location in the country. So this is Aberdeen in, where is that, like, I don't know, Kansas or South Dakota or something, I don't know, uh, or Nebraska. I'm trying to imagine where that is in the country. But who, anyway, someone's going to be offended because I don't know where they live. So they have these nice little GIFs, and he suggests in this email just running, you know, picking whichever one's close, closest to you and running MPV on it. Um, that is, you can tell MPV to run as a loop. You can either put that in your mpv.config to always run GIFs as a loop. You actually might want to do that. Um, but let's, uh, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to find the one closest to me, probably Jacksonville, uh, which, okay, looks like J-A-X. So I'm going to click on this just to make sure that's it. Yep, that's Jacksonville. So I'm going to take this link, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little script that I can run at any point and will give me, it will, without bringing up a browser, I can just get this weather report. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my personal scripts. I'm gonna make a script called Doppler. Okay, uh, so it's a shell script. And uh, actually, let me go ahead and save it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run MPV on this, but I'm gonna actually run MPV with the uh, loop option. I forget, I gotta actually look how to loop things for a second. We're, doing, we're looking in the man real time. This is uh, a manual let's play. Uh, so loop file, we're gonna say inf, so it continuously loops. And actually, well, okay, we'll just see how that ends up. Um, now on my machine, it might take a little while. Uh, actually, let me go make this thing executable. Okay, so now I should be able to run Doppler at any point in time. And since my internet connection is very slow, it will take a second, but it'll probably start for you instantly. It will bring up an NPV instance of this GIF file. So now, instead of bringing up all these stupid sites, uh, I already closed out of them because they're uh, just so annoying, or maybe they're over here, no. Okay, I, could, I just now have an NPV window that can come up. Actually, I'm gonna change this a little bit just because, uh, you know, my, since my computer's so slow, I'm gonna add in a, you know, Notify send command. I'm gonna say, you know, let's say uh, We're making it up as we, we go. Let's see loading uh, Doppler radar Dot 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 Please wait a moment. Okay Because you know out here in the country you, you got bad internet. That's just how it is So now it's gonna give a little notification just so you know that it's running and then it's going to pop up with that Okay, great so that should be a lot quicker for you. Um, now there are other things as well, I don't know, just while I'm thinking about it. So anyway, thanks to Ray for giving me this because I've actually looked for this for a while. He says he, I think he said he had it on uh, some kind of binding, yeah, in, in DWM or something like that. 
Um, but uh, another thing you might want to add is, like, I don't like it having this progress bar down here. I think that's sort of redundant. Um, so you can actually get rid of that in MPV as well. Uh, is that like a HUD or something like that? I forget what it is. Uh, there's an option for it. You can, I don't know, you can read the manual uh, yourself. Uh, so anyway, that that's just a cute little optimization, cute little thing. I've wanted this a couple times. Now I have it. Uh, thank you, Ray, for telling me about this. That's it. See you guys next time.